Hello, this is Steve at stevehubphoto.com and I am here today because I wanted to show you guys a quick little demo on the importance of shooting RAW. Uh, if you have a digital camera and your files are looking a little dingy or flat or just not very exciting, uh, make sure that you're shooting in the RAW format, even RAW plus JPEG, because when you do that you can make some quick little adjustments during the RAW processing to really punch up your photo. Now I'm going to do a quick example, it's going to take me about a minute once I open up the photo and show you what you can do in about a minute. And I'm going to be using Photoshop. You could do the same exact settings in Lightroom because it uses the same raw processing. So first I was out today with a Panasonic GX1 and I was shooting in JPEG and RAW. Uh, I was shooting with the Panasonic slash Leica 2514 and this was shot at F4 and it looks a little flat and dull. Definitely the out of camera JPEGs from the Olympus CP3 are more punchier and vibrant than they are out of the Panasonic GX1 which tend uh, to come out kind of flat and dull. So I wasn't happy with the JPEG even though it was nice and sharp and had nice low contrast but I like a little more punchy image so I'm going to open up the RAW and there it is, it looks the same as the JPEG and what I'm going to do is I'm going to see what the auto white balance setting looks like. It looks a little yellowish, the daylight looks a little bluish so I'm going to put it on auto and adjust the temperature down until it looks about right, which is right there. And then the auto, uh, on the exposure side of it and the uh, black level saturation, I'm going to check auto exposure. And sometimes that works and sometimes it doesn't. In this case it works. It kind of punches it up a little bit. I'm going to up it a little bit more. And I'm going to up the black level because the, when you up the black level just a little bit, it pumps up the saturation and it just gives you more contrast and makes things a little more bold. I don't really mess with the brightness and contrast. The saturation I'm going to pump up to plus 15 and then I'm going to go to the sharpness here. It's defaulted at 32 with a radius of 0 0.7. I'm going to bump that to 50. Okay, And that's it. I'm going to open up the image. And let's see what we got. That took under a minute probably, I'm guessing, around a minute. And what you get is an image that's not as flat. It's a little more vibrant. We can even, if you want to get, comp you know, not complicated, but a little more daring, you can go into the levels and adjust the levels a little bit. You can up the saturation if you don't, if you want it more colorful. You can take it down if you want it less. So I'm going to leave it right about where it was. Okay, and there you go. The benefit of shooting raw. There's the JPEG, which does look pretty flat, and there is the image from raw, which looks much better. So there you go. I just wanted to show you guys that quick tip. And here's another tip. If you want to get a little even more bold, I like this Alien Skin Exposure 3 filter. You can add a slight color filter to it. I just chose Fuji Astia Film and it'll give it a little more contrast and there you go so that took just a couple minutes to do the whole thing from beginning to end and if I was going to post this to the website and I'm going to I resize it to 1800 pixels for the larger version on each and I will post these to the site where this article is so you can see the before and after out of camera JPEG and from RAW, much better. So there you go. If you have a camera that doesn't look quite right shooting JPEG and you have the capability to shoot RAW, go ahead and set it to RAW or RAW plus JPEG and you can get much better results just like that. Thanks for watching and I hope you come back to stevehuffphoto.com. Thank you.